welcome you to this special service under the theme Go Getters. Connecting successful business minds to empower and inspire us into greatness. Tonight we'll be talking about kingdom business. You know, you always hear people say kingdom business, but we're going to literally talk about kingdom businesses tonight. And with us tonight is an elite panel of purpose-driven gentlemen who will be sharing with us shortly on what I would like to call their journey into business in the secular world. So many times as kingdom citizens, we isolate the connection between business and achieving success. What do I mean? There's a general church mindset that simply going to church will automatically make you successful and prosperous in the secular world. And even when we are employed in the secular world, we tend to just settle and not believe that we can own our own business or grow in our own professions. Dash is a recruiting manager at Advanced Call Center Technologies. He has 13 years experience in the field of human resource and recruiting. We are talking about no other than brother Chris Brown. Welcome brother Chris Brown, our, one of our panelists for tonight's discussion. Brother Ricardo Hilton is an engineering surveyor. Wow. And the founder of Hilton Geo Precision, which specializes in providing topographical surveys, construction setting, setting out, and drone services. We welcome Brother Ricardo Hilton. And last but certainly not least, not the least among us, we have our own Pastor Myri. <laughs> Pastor Vault Steve, Volton Steve Myri is the CEO slash manager at Voltec Media Weddings and 360 Booth. Voltec Media has been in operation for over 13 years. Can we put our hands together for the active pastor of the restaurant? And I say active because he's always moving about. He can't necessarily join yet. But we want to welcome you, sir, to our wonderful program. I'm going to just switch over now to my sitting position. We want to know Brother Hilton, Pastor Mary, and Brother Chris. How did it all start for you in the business world? All right, um, how it all started for me? Wow, it was through my, my parents, more specifically my dad. Um, big up yourself, Daddy, I know you're watching. Bless up. All right, so yes, um, my dad had cultivated in our home as a child growing up the the importance of financial responsibility, right? So it was important for us as his children to, to value money and understand the importance of money. What my dad would do is on a Sunday night, he would give all of us our lunch money from Sunday night and say it would be for the entire week. No, he would, he would be very careful, right? Sure. To let us know that if we spent it off by midweek, we will still need to go to school, but we won't be getting it from him. Um, what he would continue to do um, was also to prove to us or show us through teaching us that if you are accountable, if you're faithful with a little bit, then more will be made available to you. Now, this is where my mom came in because uh, from time to time on Saturdays, my mother would bring me along with her to grocery shopping, right? In Savannah Lamar, as we call it. And I would understand or see that you could exchange money for nice shirts and sneakers and, and pretty toys. And, and I started realizing that if I saved, yes, from what was provided or given to me, to go to school then on the saturday i could go with mom to serve and i could get myself a nice toy basically it started from a very young age me being a person i love the environment i love to invent 
and having a great love of problem solving. One of the things that gives me great joy is when I can fix something. Um, started from like the cassette radio at home, <laughs> putting a lot of elastic bands in it, fixing it up, and then feeling fulfilled that yes, I caused it to start working again. The one that wasn't working, I fixed that. And then being in the environment as well, I followed a business path originally, and then I realized that that was not where I really wanted to be. My passion was really the environment. I tried architecture, and then somehow I got myself into the school of land surveying and GIS and I realized that that was one of the things that helped me to fulfill my dream of being in the environment, solving problems, being um, at school. I got opportunities from lecturers to go out and start working with them. So I got some experience even while I was studying. From a child, I've always been interested in movies and video games. I'm a person who has always been into technology. And so no matter what new technology existed, I've always been a part of it. And uh, as a child, I guess as boys, uh, as boys, we always want to know what makes something work. So we have a brand new video that's working fine. We pull it up because we want to know why it has spin, what, what caused it to spin. So even from in basic school, I was doing things like that, pulling up the TV, pulling up the, the, the radio, pulling up um, the VCR. I grew into what I would call a, a movie encyclopedia. And there's no other way I can describe it. I watch movies 24 sevens. And just as we have persons who are academics, I was not an academic. I did not love school. So I did not pay attention too much in school. And later on, I realized it's because I have a creative mind. My mind is a little bit different. When people are talking about addition and this and that, I was thinking, how come the plane up the south line? Why keep it up in the sky? You know? So these are some of the things that would cause me from a young age um, to, to learn how to read. How do you start searching? At what point do you start that search? Do you start searching for something that you like? Do I like dolls? Do I like clothes? Where do you really, you know, how, do, how does someone start that search? There are sometimes some desires that are placed inside of you. That's right. And it's like a pull in a particular direction. So if you heard about Brother Chris, he spoke about the finances and seeing his father being curious how to manage money and everything. Passa being creative and watching videos is something that was a passion. You think there are persons here who are very unhappy in their current positions and jobs <laughs> and there is something deep in them that's nudging them and they should push out and do it? That's a question for the recruiting manager. <laughs> yeah, I love that question. Absolutely, absolutely. I love how Pastor the highlights. Yeah, I have a lot of positions available, so I'll be rec I'm, I'm recruiting. That's right. But, but, but that's a good one. I love that. So, but yes, um, and I think to... Um, missionary co that sometimes we become so comfortable in that which is comfortable mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and so sometimes there is a internal pull a drive if you may that's saying that this is not where your purpose is but again you know here's the thing sometimes in an effort to make ends meet in an effort to provide, to, to pay your bills, right? We, we, we commit to jobs that are so less than what God has called us to do, True. True. but we don't see the way out. And I'm hoping at the end of the discussion that we'll be able to provide some tips mm. on developing that level of confidence to step out into really your purpose, right? And into the, just everything that is um, that's available to you. Oh. We have people who, and that's why I love, you know, the, 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 the panel tonight, because I, 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 I can say that these gentlemen represents the, represent academia.
persons who are academically sound. And I represent proudly, as Paul said, I represent the Gentiles, yeah. Um, I represent proudly um, one of those who is an anomaly. I, I, I don't fit in the box of what society actually prescribed for me because going through school, I never, I literally never achieved nothing in school. I don't have any subjects. May I have one? May they get one? Oh, oh, all right, later on around in life, may they get one. But the bottom line is, I was so terrible in school to the point where I was threatened that I would not graduate. And I remember I prayed a prayer and I said to God, God, me no want walk back for nobody. I was praying the prayer that I don't want to work for anyone again, but yet me don't have a skill. No, it was not until by accident, as my dear brother said, because I thought that I was, you know, I had to go in a particular direction. And for those of you who have heard already, it was because of this great desire. I was not computer literate. I would have to ask my wife to turn on the computer if I want to go on it, where all of that is concerned. It was out of a desire of wanting to surprise her with new ringtone on her phone. No, uh, make ringtone for her. I downloaded a software and started to try to edit one ringtone. Out of editing that ringtone, something came to my mind. Say, but this is who you were from. You were a child because I know movies. I know video. I know this is really who I am. And it was out of trying to edit that ringtone. I actually started to realize that no man something more to it and i started to um teach myself how to edit well i bought something that they call a total station i don't know if anybody would know what that is it's a lot of the thing that you pass and it's like a camera a lot of people think it's a camera it's called a total station i bought my first total station nearing the end of that project and at the end of the project we, i was working with some french persons. There were surveyors there as well. The chief surveyor was a French personnel and they were selling out their equipment. They were selling cars, computer, this. I was able to purchase them secondhand from that individual at the end of that project. And then having left that project, I went on to use my own. Brother Chris, how important is research and tools in starting someone's business or starting your own business? A Bible verse, if you may. Um, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So here's the thing with business. And as my uh, team member said, you see, the, 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 the knowledge is what will help you to make, be successful in business. So having the knowledge and the tools, the knowledge will tell you how to use your tool. Come on now, we're going somewhere, right? And so it's very important because you cannot run a business effectively if you are ignorant. So the tools will help you to be more effective and with obtaining the right knowledge, you'll now be able to apply that knowledge and then wisdom will come in. And I believe my brother here had wisdom because he saved from the project so he could acquire his own. So it's very important, missionary, for us to have the right tools. Um, in, in my line of business, we equip, we do what we call training, right? So it, the training provides the employee with the knowledge that will cause them to be successful in their role. So it's very important when you talk about tools at work, we have computers, right? So the computers now is what they, the, the, the employees use to service the customer. So it's very important and um, without proper tools, and I just love Pastor's camera because he spoke about, he started with a 5G iPhone, a 3G. Thank you for correcting me, sir. But look around us tonight. Look at these. What are these, Pastor? Come on, give him a round of applause. So you can do better than that. Are. Yes, right. Give so, us a little run. As I said, as a pastor, I don't only want to tell people about how to get to heaven, but we want to know how to occupy till the Lord comes. Yes. And so we have so many different people, as I said, of, 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 of many different aspects of society, wherein um, you might be an academic or you might not. And there are some folks who you know are actually in a dead-end job the job is not necessarily dead-end but because it is not who they are and people tend not to try to find who they truly are to fulfill that, that that desire you try to fit into society you're going to live a miserable life this is why um in certain professions 
I'm saying what I did not intend to say. But that's why in certain professions, you find that teachers, it was a lifestyle first time. Being a nurse was a lifestyle. Being a police officer was a lifestyle. You find now that people will achieve certain subjects and they don't know what else to do. So let me just go in a teaching. And I succumb, they don't give they not people no at all with them attention because they're not teachers. Police, men don't know what else to do. So they've gone there. But these are um, areas that you have to have as a lifestyle. What are some of the documents that you need when you're starting a business? What, what, where do I go? Um, you want to start a business. It's not hard to register a business. You can either register as a business name or you can register as a company. A business name is when you you have a name for, for so like for the uh, yeah. sister Anisha. Yes, divine, divine touch. touch. Divine touch. Yes, yeah. so she get that, she have her name. Yeah, she can go to the company's office and she'll pay. I think it was at two thousand five hundred yeah. something like that, and you register a business name. name. Yeah. What are some of the tools that you can use to keep it together, to push forward? from those thoughts or the mistakes that you have made and not give up. I like, I like to say it this way, you, one must focus on the dream, right? So the uh, attaining any level of success, my brother, never comes without challenges and sacrifices, right? And so one, I, and, and I would touch on it earlier, you have to do your research because several of the failures that we experience is because we're poorly researched. We have no knowledge of what we're doing. So you need to do your research, you need to be knowledgeable, and you, to, you need to also ensure that what you're desiring to transition into is not just a feeling. Um, but this is something that you're gonna be committed to. That's another point. So one needs to be committed, right? One needs to be willing to make the sacrifice that is necessary to be successful. So if you're gonna step away from something for a greater calling, you must first, as principle of business tells me that generally, startup business in the first two to three years, as we established earlier, profits are very low so to your point you're getting a beating but if you're well researched and you're knowledgeable then you would create a, a coping mechanism if you may that would allow for you to now be able to basically survive in the midst of uncertainty so brother i'm gonna just you were gonna answer that brother chris and then brother hilton you just come in the person saying i heard brother hilton mention that he got some second-hand items. Would you recommend starting off with second-hand items and upgrade or doing the research, then get the best of the best in the initial phase? I would love to answer that. So one other thing that we need to understand as well is that especially those who are starting up, Jamaican second-hand and American second-hand are two different things. <laughs> French. Oh, it's, it's, it's French. French. It's French. All right. Yes. All right. So Jamaican, second hand, and foreign, as in France, America, second hand, two different things. Let me, in my field, um, there are times when companies will send an item to a YouTuber for them to review the product. And when they review the product, they just open the box and review it. They have no use for it, but it is theirs. So I feed them it because the company send it it is not used it is now known as a open box item in that it now has to be reduced in terms of the cost however it is a brand new item it's just that the box was open sometimes the passion when you have the passion you have to make the time for it you might be busy doing different things but while you're doing what you're doing make time for your passion to build your dream to build on the vision that you are given one one coco full basket mm -hmm. every mickle make a muckle mm -hmm. and uh, my parents took those words and they applied it and they saved the literal thousand dollar and dropped them partner <laughs> and do what they had to do one one coco full basket you don't have to start big viewing audience those in the house start with what you have be faithful over it god will bless you do not be afraid to fail do not be afraid if you make a mistake 
brush yourself off and try again if you try business and it fail it doesn't mean that business is not for you read about colonel sanders kfc and you'll get a proper understanding of what failures mean read about wd40 and what the 40 stands for and you understand that failing doesn't make you a failure you can keep trying until you make something of it in all you're getting please get knowledge understanding and wisdom i like to end with ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. it says whatsoever thy hand findeth to do do with do it with thy might for there is no work nor device not knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest so while we are here as pastor says occupying Whatever your hand find to do, do not let the words leave here tonight on deaf ears, but let them be absorbed in your spirit and let them be absorbed in your research and allow God to lead you into great success. He says, you wish above all things, all things yes. that you prosper yes. even as your, your soul, soul prospers. prospers.